running away, are ya? Hello everybody, Big Ton here with some more Project 2002 gameplay. Just doing a little more power leveling for my Necromancer. Or should I say my Frecromancer? So I got them all buffed up and I've been killing for a little while here. Just killing the uh, giants over in the Worsliff Woods. Doing this because these guys Bonkai. drop Bonkai. very good merchant loot. So I've already looted like probably more than a hundred platinum worth of drops and I've only killed a few. See, we got the giant lord's tunic which is like I don't know 60 plat or so. So I pretty much play my newbie characters until they're in the 30s or so as a melee class. They got two two different life pre life proc life tap procs. One is from the illusion, the werewolf illusion. The other one is the uh, vampiric embrace. That's you know a necromancer skill. And I just keep an eye on his, my health with the shaman and just keep my buffs up. Speaking of buffs, I'll redo my damage shield. Yeah, at the low, lower levels with full buffs on, there's not a whole lot of difference between a melee and a caster. Maybe a little bit of AC and stuff, but the mobs hit for roughly the same. When you get dual wield and double attack and stuff like that. The little damage shield and not too much to worry about. Pop myself off and go grab another one. Leave him alone for now. Let's grab this guy here. See, he's red con, but he's probably only red con by one level. Because that guy over there is yellow. He's red. So probably red by one level. Which means realistically you could solo him. If you got really lucky on the resists. Vampiric Embrace doesn't last very long, so Bonkai. I just randomly refresh it. Bonkai. Yeah, I pretty much play him like an SK. I mean, I got a relatively good two-hander on him. I'll probably have to heal on this for sure. I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah, it looks like... See, the last time I fought a red one, I didn't have my werewolf illusion on. And I guess those damage procs, the life tap procs, are really doing some work. Yeah, we're good. And then I'll just top myself off. Got a couple lucky procs and almost didn't need it. I'll just run off and grab another. Nope. Oh. Losing clarity. So 
I've been watching a few YouTube videos of people playing live EverQuest. I got an itch to start up a brand new character or maybe a few characters over on the Vox server and try to play with one of the uh, guys that I am subscribed to, the Gerald717. He makes EverQuest videos. I enjoy seeing him try and figure out the game. It's kind of crazy because the game is so old, yet there's so much stuff in the game that even after almost 20 years, you still don't know everything. Especially if you've taken breaks and such. I mean, the game is so old and I still haven't gotten a character to max level in that game. I mean, at one point in time, I had a max level character, you know, back in like 2000, 2003, 2004, something like that, when the max level was only like 65. So I had a 65 Wood Elf Druid named Mystical with his epic and everything. Okay, we'll run over here, refresh our vampire Embrace. And once this camp's broken, I could probably just have my two guys on follow. And then just like run to each of their spawn points. And I don't have to worry about like doing the actual pull because it kind of takes a while to get them over here. It would help if I wasn't pulling with snare, but... I redo my damage shield. Yeah, so this is pretty much the strategy I'm using. Just get myself buffed with some OOR buffs. If you've ever played on a PvP server like Talon Zek, like one of the first servers I ever played on, you know what OOR is. Do a little life tap and see if I can heal up. Get interrupted. Okay, I'll heal myself. I want to do a greater heal. Running away, are ya? Bunch of crappy items. Yeah, the very first giant I looted had, like, a gem and that tunic on it. You know what? I'm gonna put these guys on follow. Recro invited to group. So if you didn't know... You can put your guys on follow, and then have the guy leave group, and they will still be on follow. You just can't initiate the follow without being in a group. It's one of those uh, things you learn if you do a lot of boxing. Oh, this guy's already greened out. So if you didn't see the last video, you might notice that Ichigo keeps yelling out Bonkai. That is the Gina program I use that monitors my combat log. Every time I get a skill up, he will yell out Bonkai. I'm actually turning the sound down a skosh. 
They're all when all three windows are together like this, sometimes the sound can get a little obnoxious. Trying to make sure they're all roughly the same. So ten, ten. All right, everybody should be about the same. That I might need it, but I don't. I'm not going after any quest stuff. Yeah. Also, if you didn't know, if you're on follow, you can move forward, and it does not break the auto follow. You just can't move backwards or side to side. This is Project 2002, but that rule, a lot of the rules still apply even to the live server. Actually, I learned that stuff playing on the live server because you can box on the live server. I think I saw somebody in a video from P99, I think. They were on auto follow, and they were like, I think they got stuck on a tree or something so they lost their follow and then they couldn't figure out why their character was moving so slow if you didn't know the auto follow will toggle your run and walk uh it will toggle run and walk as you're running around that's how it adjusts how fast your character is moving so a lot of the times if you lose your uh auto follow if it had toggled your walk, your guy will be walking. So you just have to, like, toggle your run, which I think by default is Control-R or something like that. Yeah, so with this two-hand blunt that I have, I can max melee right now at this level for about 66. Which is pretty good. Throw myself a heal. See if I can get a life tap on him. Nope. Interrupted. interrupted. Bon guy. Yeah, I'm really thinking about starting up a char couple characters over on Vox. Bon guy. So if you guys are interested in that, give this video a like. Maybe even post a comment on it. Let me know if you uh, think I should do that. I probably will, at least for a video. Because I'm really got the itch to play me some EverQuest. I'd play on Agnar, but I don't want to pay to play EverQuest. I've already given Sony and uh, Daybreak Games you know, probably thousands of dollars over the years. So I don't want to give them any more money. You know, thousands of dollars and I don't have any physical object. You know what I mean? That sounds to me like a bad investment. Or a bad use of funds, you know? I mean, hours of enjoyment, but... You know, there's nothing tangible. It's not like I can show my roommate or something like, Hey, look at what I got. I paid it because I wanted to, so I guess, you know, that's one thing. I enjoy this game immensely. I mean, I still play it to this day. Even got my boy playing it. You can he can feel the old the age of the game, you know. So, unfortunately, he uh plays in very short stints to say the least. But when I talk about it, he's always interested. He just doesn't, you know, he just doesn't really necessarily want to play. Which is, you know, that's fine. He's only 13 years old, so. Bonkai. Yep, just killing giants.
helps if I turn my attack on. I wonder if that's what happened to the last guy. Yeah, the server population on this when I first started for Project 2002 was pretty high. I mean, we, were, we had, you know, at certain times of the day, there'd be 400 accounts logged on. You know, that's to include people three boxing, so, but there would be at least almost nearly 400 characters in the game. When I loaded up this morning, there was only 78, 78 characters, and, you know, that takes into account the people that are sitting there AFK in the bazaar. So people playing the game, there might there might actually only be like a dozen, maybe. Yeah, I went into the bazaar to see if there was any items for my for my frecro. Yeah, there wasn't anything. Very few items. Which is one of the reasons I want to give uh, a live server a, a shot. Yeah, maybe get a chance to hook up with Gerald or uh, any of the other guys that play on that server. I think Cat's Meow, I think is his name, I think plays on that server. My character, I have a, a full roster on Arola C. Mar, which used to be Moral Soul. That was the blue Care Bear server I, most of my EverQuest career was played on. But yeah, so for those people wondering what the difference between P99 and P2002 are, well, you're seeing it. There's no way you could have your Necromancer tanking like this on P99. And maybe with a Shaman in a... Man, that rain is really loud. I don't know if it's the sound realism that's doing that or what. I'm gonna try to turn that down. So happens to be a rainstorm while I'm trying to record. Come on now. We got the volume almost turned off on all three accounts. Yep, got ourselves a mithril earring. That's about 12 plat or so. Alright, we're starting to lose some buffs here. Let's check what we got. Bonkai. I say doing the power leveling this way will get your, like, melee skills and your defense skills up, but your casting skills will suffer so bad. So pretty much while I'm running around and like doing looking for spells and doing all that stuff, if I pass by anybody, I'll like randomly buff them with like Endure Cold just over and over. Plus I do it on myself a bunch. Like while I'm waiting for respawns and whatnot. Well, that volume's a lot less painful. Bonkai. Yeah, see, I got my defense at uh, almost 115 now. So I got regrowth still, haste, boon of the guru. Yeah, still. I guess I could do shadow vortex. If I don't get interrupted. Bon 
or if he doesn't resist it. If you haven't, if you don't know, and haven't watched any of the other videos that I've made, I am really into anime. I was trying to think of a word, so my nickname is Big Ton, but I was trying to come up with a name that like encompasses gaming and watching or being addicted to watching anime, but I couldn't think of a word that fit. Actually, I think the Enchanter can use... Eh, I think he's past that, actually. You know what? I'm not using that at the moment, so what I'll do is grab my Grim Aura. What does that work for skill alteration? Yeah. The abjuration is really low, so my Fain Death skill? Yeah. I guess I should be keeping that at cooldown instead of worrying about the Endure Cold, because I have to target myself. So I should just be feigning death every time it's up. That'll help work the skill. See if I can find another one. We got Door Pops. There's one over there. Do we have both of them? Eh. When there's two like that, I would use one of the high level guys because they're gray, so they don't they won't assist each other. Good old life tap proc. That's one bad thing about this zone is it rains all the time. And it's almost always raining in this zone. Refresh my boon of the guru. Or Gauru. So I used to play paper and pencil werewolf werewolf game, and uh, that Gauru uh, word is familiar. I wonder if I feign death too, it'll go on. If I can feign death. Heh, <laughs> went on to the shaman. You're running away now, huh? Yeah, I fought here a lot on Project uh, P99 as well. And when I would loot a giant, I didn't have any kind of anxiety about like seeing that forest loot there. Because I killed for like days. I killed for weeks and never, never got a forest loot. But if I recorded for long enough on this server, like if I was able to do like an hour or two recording, I would probably have several forest loops. I've actually had it to where I had a, like, was killing a mob and got an ad. I think I mezzed or rooted the ad, killed the one, then started working on the second one, got another add, so there was a total of three. By the time all three were dead, two of them had a forest loot on this server. Yeah. It's a little, a little bit kind of wonky. I don't know if that's intended, or if that's some kind of like slightly broken uh, spawn mechanic, or if that's similar, more, like more how live is, because I, this server is trying to uh, replicate how the game was in 2002. 
So I don't know if that's how it was in 2002. I don't have a memory of that. Because I actually never fought here. I didn't do much fighting outside of, like, Lake of Ill Omen when I was playing on this during those days. The internet was a lot more limited back then, like, with internet speeds and whatnot, so I didn't know anything about doing any kind of researching. Plus, the game was still relatively new, so the research hadn't been, you know, wasn't done yet. So maybe this is more like, nowadays you can go on the internet and actually see, like, all of the stuff that people have discovered over the years. And it's like, oh, okay, I never knew that. You know, it seems new to me because I'm reading it now, but back then it was like, it was probably always there. But because I, the internet hadn't, you know, it wasn't on the internet yet. It wasn't there for me to discover outside of, like, doing it in the game. And because it was more like P99, like, back when I played, you couldn't just go explore. Because if you died, you were pretty much screwed. Ouch, he got a triple attack for 48 in there. See if I can get a siphon life on him. Yep. So I got regrowth, that weighted axe. Weighted axe is only like like one platinum or something like that. If it's even a platinum. Yeah, it's not very good. Like one of my favorite spell animations. The uh Bon Kai. So it says Frecro has fallen to the ground. Well I have a trigger in my Gina program that actually monitors that. So if I didn't have a skill up when that happened, you would have actually heard Bane Death failed. So I think I've been fighting this whole time without my damage shield. I don't have that set up, letting me know when my damage shield fades. And with me thinking about switching over to the Vox server, I might not even worry about it. Well, it'll be set up in there for later, because I'll probably have it set up on the Vox server. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to set up, though, like what characters... I'm pretty sure I'm going to do an, an enchanter to, to start. It might even be an enchanter necromancer. I just don't know if I want to do a three box because you get, you get, I get to use mercs there. So like I could do some legitimate group content. Like those... Uh, the heroic adventures or whatever they're called, because I I think the cat's meow guy that I follow that I uh, follow on YouTube, pretty sure he shows you how to get to like some ridiculous level like sixty or eighty five or something like that, like without even having to leave plane of knowledge. Of course, you have to have a high level character I think to like do it, but still, it's pretty crazy when you think about it. Of course, I don't know if you can bring mercs in there or not. I'd have to do a little research. I'm kind of just rambling because I'm, I'm thinking about closing out the video here. Been going for almost half an hour, so I think I'll do one more kill and call it a day. I'm really, really tempted to do that. So you might actually see another video right after this one that shows off my uh, character creation for Vox. I'm actually going to pull up here because I can camp out right on this hill here and it's safe. Did my enchanter get left behind? Oh, he just doesn't have so. That's what's going on. Recro interrupted. Bon Kai. I 
was just reading the uh, chat. So chat on the server in the OOC is actually server wide. So to talk across the server, you talk in OOC. They're talking about EXP zones, and somebody was asking if they could fight in uh, Umbral Plains because this uh, th this server has Luckland unlocked. All right, so that was my last kill for this video. I got buffs fading. I'll probably redo that. So if you like this video, click the like button. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe. I make EverQuest videos. I also do other games, like usually games I get off Steam. I'd say that almost all the games that I do are off Steam, outside of maybe like a handful like EverQuest, even though EverQuest is on Steam too, but I don't play it that way. If So if you're new, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, if you have comments or anything, put them down in the comment section. You can check, check the description box I have a bunch of links and stuff in there for social media. Uh, I got Discord. If anybody wants Discord information, you just let me know. And uh, there's also some links in there to Patreon if you want to directly support my uh, progress and you know the quality of my content because I still need a better microphone and a webcam. So if you guys want to see that, go ahead and you know, post comments, let me know what's going on, and I'll see you guys next time.